20 years yeah, later, you know? Years later. <laughs> this is the 20-year reunion before you were born. Yeah, I was going to say, I wasn't a part they of don't, it. They don't, no, get you it. were not, but. They don't get it. You used to come up with, with Robert every single oh, year. They, they tell me all the time. Will you say hi? It's Chris, it's me. No. Yes, yeah, Scott, Scott, you got to do it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Come on, Scott. Come you on, got it. Scotty. What do you want me to do? Just say it's me, Todd Crates. <laughs> and then I'm going to go. Come on. And the real Todd Crates. <laughs> Come on. OK, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. One, two, three. Auntie Chris, it's me. It's Todd Cranes. Oh, you better believe it. You know, a long time ago when we started prank calling Chris with the whole Todd Cranes thing, I never even knew who the person was. And then it became like an ongoing joke. We need to call right now. Hello? Auntie Chris, it's me. It's Todd Cranes. Where are you? Stop calling this number. Let's do a Todd Cranes prank. Come on, Todd Cranes it up. It's me! It's Todd Cranes! Surprise! Auntie Chris, it's me, Todd Cranes. It's me! It's Todd Cranes! <laughs> But I never thought I'd actually like go on a ski trip with them. <laughs> <laughs> this little puppy's gonna go off first. I gotta hide that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's perfect though. She could put one under there. That was a good spot. <laughs> yeah, it was. What's that noise? What is that? I don't know, but it's bad. It's a vibrator. No. Uh-uh. You did something. What's happening? What's that noise? I have no idea. What's going on? Is that a fire alarm or something? It's getting worse. Could be a fire. Doesn't smell like a fire. Chloe, grab me a drink over there. Club money. You guys are so stupid. Anybody want to tell me what the purpose of this clock is for? What's that about? I don't know. It was in my white room. It was in your white room? White. Oh. Why do you, have a, you, why do you have a white room, Chloe? Yeah, you're racist. Chloe? What's that other noise? Courtney, are you going to come with me anywhere? Or you're just going to sit there. I was going to sit here, but if you'd like me to come, I'll be happy to do so. It's somewhere. What is this? But why? What's the point of this? Exactly. I don't understand. I really don't know what we did. They came here to put alarm clocks around? Well, there's, uh, there's two in here, so now there's probably another one. Chloe! There's something going on in here. Like, Listen, what kind of punishment is this? All I know is you're laughing. That's all that matters to us. I just don't get what the purpose of this is. No, stop. Yo, no, are you gonna get that? Oh, there's another clock! Oh, yeah. Let's go find it! We got you! <laughs> yeah. Oh, see ya! Take the elevator next time. Oh, see you later! Is there anything <laughs> we can do to Kendall? Can we cover her with baby powder? What if we put a balloon up her ass? <laughs> <laughs> what would she Courtney, take a blueberry and do it. I want to see if anyone's tweeting us. Does anyone have any good prank ideas to do to a sleeping person? Let them rest. Leave Kendall alone. <laughs> Put a few squares. <laughs> this one's good. This one's good. <laughs> Put a few squares of chocolate in their bum crack so it melts when they wake up. <laughs> I think that's the winner. She's just going to think she went to the bathroom. She was so drunk. Let me tell you, Twitter is really, it's a great tool. It's almost better than Google because they give you like in real time responses and they're really crafty. It's just a little, <laughs> it's a little shart. At the sleepover, whoever, yeah, whoever yeah. falls asleep, you're, you're, you're asking for it. <laughs> What? What's on my face? What? What is 
innocent. We wanted you to shart yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Did you look it up? There's we tweeted, what can happened? we do to a sleeping person? And everyone, everyone said you put chocolate in their background. <laughs> we wanted to see if you would tell us <laughs> if you <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Try to eat the other one. Where is mom? Mom! Yep. Put the sticks both in the other one. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Is that cake? Mm hmm. Hold on, mm -hmm. it's coming. We wanted to truly thank you. For what? For just being you. Oh. Yeah. That's my favorite cake. I know. I love that cake. Give me a hug. Okay. What's wrong? Why do you want to hug me? Huh? What? <laughs> Chloe, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? What the hell are you doing? Read this sweet message. How does payback taste? Sweet revenge. <laughs> what did I do to just... You've been manipulating all of us and using your daughters to buy you Yes! What? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I talked to Kylie and she did not get you that toaster, so you fully scammed us. If that's what it takes for me to get you guys to be nice to me, at least I'm smart enough to figure that out. You're teaching us bribing, <laughs> lying, scamming. They're life lessons. Don't ever forget. No, now you can buy a mop. Buy your self a Hanson's cake. You don't even deserve this one. What? Chloe? Oh my God. This will show her not to mess with us again. Or you're gonna get two cakes to the face, Chris. This is bad behavior. We're big and we're bad. And we're hungry. This is the best part if you want a piece. No, I don't want, want a piece. I have cake up my nostrils. You guys are both grounded. You're a scam artist. And we are satisfied. satisfied. Delish. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I've been finding, like, that's been escalating and escalating and escalating is how f***ing annoying Courtney is with, like, just doing anything. Like, this is, like, what I go through on a daily basis with her. Should I go to New York or should I not? I've watched her spend three days picking a pink color as if it's her full-time job. After hearing how Court bailed on Kim for the whole New York thing, it's like Court doesn't get that her lack of decision-making does affect other people. I know she's meeting us here, so I'm gonna pretend that you and I are like driving and we're not here yet. I'm just gonna be like, wait, hold on, we changed our mind, we're going somewhere else. You're so gonna just with hold her? On. She fucks with me literally on a daily basis. Oh, this is giving me life. No, she literally <laughs> This me. is amazing. Hi. Hey. What's happening at the Oh, well, we're not going there anymore. Go to Casa Vega. I know it's far, but just take your ass over there. I'm going it's the wrong me. way now. See you soon, beautiful. I'm turning around now, so I'll see you guys there in like 15 minutes. My bad, Suzanne. Will you pull over for a second? We changed to go to a different restaurant, but mom's like on the phone, so I don't know exactly where we're going. <laughs> Hello. I'm so hungry, I don't have time. We can go to any restaurant. What's better than pulling a prank on court and making her just feel what it feels like when someone is that indecisive? You guys, I have to talk to you. Wow. Uh oh, oh uh oh. I've made the decision that after the baby is born, I'm gonna move to Paris. Forever? Mm hmm. Just to like check on the house and go there and then come just back. Just enough time for us to get attached to your child and then you're gonna move? The why would you think like we five would be like later excited or? about that? Yeah, why would, yeah. Like, later? why would we be excited? So you're gonna take your kid and you are gonna move to another country? You have no friends there. I would kill myself if I wanted to. Yeah, I do. I have you like. You have no family in Paris, but yeah. Kanye. Like, obviously, that's not fun for us. We're all used to being with you and like the new baby. But if that's what you wanna do, we're not gonna stop you. But if you want us to like cheer, 
Yay. Whoa. I'll be back and forth all the time. You I'll be here. Then if you're exactly knocking what back at our door and she'll be, seconds. don't worry, guys. I was going to say, she'll be back. No. You guys. You can and always sell gonna, the show. only joking. We're, we're not going to allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I was confused. I was like, I was I like wait a minute, you can go like without that baby. It was really random. Was you can excited. leave the baby <laughs> here. I should have gone with this. You're only joking? I got pissed. You don't think like... No, Chloe, I got you too. love me. I Chloe pissed. loves me. Kylie I loves me. Really we all love Courtney, I know, is just genuinely excited to come to visit. Um, this <laughs> How annoying is that? It's, she's like... Who is this Nancy person? It's one of Courtney's friends. I feel like I would really know who this Nancy person is, because I know everyone. You don't know every single friend of ours. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. So, who is Nancy? Just some annoying, judgmental hooker. Not a hooker. Kind of. She called me the other day just to critique stuff about how I looked in photos or like something I shouldn't wear. That's and I was what like, Nance does to me all day, air day. Chloe and I are having so much fun calling her Nancy because she has no idea who we're talking about. There is only so much our souls can handle when it comes to Kim with her criticism day after day. And if she's going to mess with us, then we're going to mess with her back. We're drinking a lot of wine. Are you getting confused? Because that's your side of the table. Is we should real? do prank calls. What? We should do prank calls. Hey, Siri. No, no, here. Siri. Hold on. Give me your- Siri. Gotta, you can't just talk to them. Siri, could you please call the hotel? Good afternoon, this is Kara. How can I direct your call? Hello, can I please have Chloe Kardashian's room? I don't see that I have her registered as a guest here at the hotel. Oh, that's wild. I think she's under a, uh, I don't know, like an, another name. I think it's something like Funny Bunny or Fred Flintstone. That's the two that I know she normally goes under. Oh my God, your prank calls honestly are the best. You have me crying. Hi, I'm calling from London's Daily Pastry and Cake. And I was just trying to follow up on a story that you provided all of Khloe Kardashian's pastries for Thanksgiving a couple of years back. Okay. I heard that it was the delicious pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie, yeah, it's our, it's our uh, seasonal um, pie that we have during Thanksgiving and Christmas. What else is seasonal? We also have a strawberry rhubarb pie that's only in uh, stock. It's only in season during the summer for some reason. I buy strawberries all year round. <laughs> Is it just the rhubarb? Or yeah, like I think it's just the rhubarb. Okay, can I just ask you a personal question? Oh my god. So how do you spell rhubarb? <laughs> it's I it's sort of mixed within the batter for the pie. <laughs> do you happen to know of a towologist? <laughs> my foot is killing me. No, I've never heard of that. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe I'll ask the concierge. No problem. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. You've been delightful. No problem, man. I hope you have a good day. Okay, thanks. He gets an A for customer <laughs> service.
that was fun. Court, come over here. Do you want to see the camera we have? Yellow. Can you believe this is what my dad used to videotape all of our stuff with? Isn't this crazy? I was like, please. How do I get that haircut back, though? Seriously. Rob. <laughs> with a wig. Okay, so Clyde, <laughs> Courtney, and Scott are going to recreate Bruce and Chris. I have the photo right here. Oh my Is it God. gone? <laughs> oh You're my God. Oh my God. Chilling out. Get it, Clyde. There's nothing worse than getting your hair cut, but there actually is now. It's getting your wig cut. <laughs> <laughs> you look miserable, but you would look like Chris Jenner. <laughs> she hang out with Brody. Oh, surf's up, bro. Oh my God, look. Whoa. It's Chris Jenner. I don't know what's weirder, the fact that Courtney looks just like her mother or the fact that I'm going to have to sleep with her. Oh if I my. met you like that, I would actually yeah, think you me... were pretty hot. You've got to leave a little of that flip, Clyde. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. I'm ready to OK, <laughs> Court. Yep. Let's move upstairs. I want to be like an old lady. Mm -hmm. So I heard that's like a big deal. Age makeup is like, it's a little bit more complicated. To do that, we would need to live cast your whole face and okay. your neck as well. Okay. Because we can get that little neck waddle. Oh, that, uh, everything that, that I laser away. The only way that Kendall and Kylie will actually really get to know what it's like to live a normal life and go unnoticed and under the radar is if they fully transform into somebody else. And of course, I don't want Kendall and Kylie to do this alone. I want to try this. I am a big kid at heart. I want to have fun. OK, I'm going to not be able to talk to you soon. Better enjoy this. Hello, I'm going to take a pic of the eyebrows on Blake. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm going to have an anxiety <laughs> attack. I don't know if I can do this. We don't have to do your whole face. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you feel like you missed out on, like in your childhood? You just feel like? I missed like... out on being normal. Being able to feel like I can like get out of the car and nobody's staring at me. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. what I missed out on. Yeah. Totally. I realize that it is kind of crazy that we have to go through all of this just to go out and be normal, but it's worth it, I think. I hope. There we go. So what we'll do is fill it with a stone material. Awesome. And then we have a complete, perfect copy of your face. Ooh, awesome. Court, where's my cool pictures? Mm. You really are a G. Like, I'm really impressed right now. I didn't want to say it during, but I would have been so claustrophobic. <laughs> that looks very scary. Yeah. Oh my god, we have to be with mom. Hello? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. It's me and Kylie, and so we are just, we came, we, we figured the whole thing out. What did you figure out? That Courtney has been the one poisoning you this whole time. Stung. Yeah. No way. I just was with her. Why would she do that? Just because she's, you know, has been trying these new all gluten-free <laughs> organic drops, <laughs> and we and we think that she's been adding these these things to our food. Stung up. She's insane. Well, you know she made me throw away all of my Tupperware. You must be doing the drugs to reverse the process. What? Hello? <laughs> it cannot ruin my makeup. Hi! What's I happening? didn't know you were here. Oh my goodness gracious. This is amazing. How are you? Good. You look cute. Mom, you look cute. How's it going? It's going. Good. Yeah, I just spent a couple hours. Ooh, what is this? Those paintings. I know, I need to find, we we're just talking about where to put them. I don't know. Wait, did your friend make those? Yeah, the guy Art Vandalin. Oh, those I don't are, know if that's really. your friend. It's not really my friend. I, it's an artist that I know. I bought these, though. Do you want to walk around the house and see where they go? Yeah. They're gorgeous. Here, excuse I'll me. Them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right there? I'm just Ooh. playing. What do we think? Wow. Something to think about. OK, so we definitely have to tell Chris about the prank soon, because if she's trying to get them appraised, this isn't going to go well. I know. We do have to break it to her that we're completely lying, art shaping uh -huh. her, and basically giving her fraudulent paintings. <laughs> we could put the other one right there instead of that girl. Ryan Seacrest would call those placeholders 
You know, they oh. look good. She just art shamed me again. Wow, and she brought Ryan in the mix. I feel like she I said know. Ryan would feel the same way. We really just got to figure out when to break the news to her. Hopefully, she won't be actually mad at us for this. I have no idea how Chris is going to react, but I'm excited to see her expression. Whatever happens, it's going to be interesting. I just filled out my stem cell cord blood thing. It said, in the past five years, have you ever had sex in exchange for money? What? And then it said, in the past five years, have you ever had sex in exchange for drugs? Like the craziest questions. That is so what if weird. you have to any of them? I don't you know. can't do this thing? I don't know. Are you down with me calling Todd Cranes so from your that. house phone and seeing if he yeah. answers? Wait, we're calling Todd Cranes, the real yeah. Todd Cranes. Todd Cranes has been a family friend of ours since before I was even born. My real dad and my mom are family friends with them, and then they all had kids around the same time. So we've known them forever. And since Scott's over it, this Todd Cranes prank, Courtney came up with the best idea to call the real Todd Cranes. I'm like really nervous that Todd might get pissed. I'll talk first. Yeah. Why isn't he answering? Who answers block numbers? Uh, Toots. Yeah. Toots. What? It's Kim and Courtney and Chloe. Come on. <laughs> no, no, it I is. Swear. I, You're not with your mom, are you? Why would I be with my mom? I don't know. <laughs> OK, so we have a confession to make. Don't be mad at us. Courtney and Scott and Chloe have been prank calling my mom, <laughs> pretending to be you. You've got to be <laughs> me. <laughs> Wait, but we. Do you understand what I've been going through with your mother? <laughs> Wait, you cannot tell her. You can't tell her. Not yet. You we... know how many times she's called me? Are you been sending me champagne and donuts? I was like, well, no. How's your dinner? I was like, I was like, Andy Chris, I'm like, it's not me. I don't know what's going on. I'm actually really concerned. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world, but now we want to, like, end the prank, and we want... We can't do it anymore. So we were like, we thought it would be funny if you showed up at her house, and then, and... <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, we could have the guard call and be like, Todd Crane is at the gate. Malika, where the hell have you been? I thought you couldn't come here today because you were with your boyfriend. I told you I would if I could, and I'm here. Mm. I just <laughs> wasn't sure because he planned an entire spa day for us, and then both of our days just flipped. We're still going to do that today. That's why I was like, even if I could only see you oh, no, for I don't care. I'm minutes, just letting you know. Calm. Just letting you know that I do call you. No, listen, I just heard you value certain people over others these days, so. It's bull you have a boyfriend now? Bull I do. Wow. Shocking, right? Yeah. I'm still in shock myself. I just don't like stuff like that. Look, well, you know, sometimes priorities, some things have to change. I'm sorry. Please. Chloe oh, understands she got a man at her party. She yeah. shoes. Wow. I took a backseat the same way wow. she took a backseat now. That's Dude, actually. Oh. Is that actually not? Did you not come to Cabo with this? Have you not hung out with um, Maryland? Did you not come with yes, this every single different. day? I don't like the fabrications of it all. How many times did I call you and you never answer my phone calls? You moved, so it makes things harder. You're trying to say how I've changed when I do try to make an effort. So let's not play that game. She starts coming at me about how I've been neglecting her. I have no idea where her accusations are coming from, but I'm not going to put up with it. Shut up. Hi. Oh, what's up, private eye? Did you bring your uh, little looking glass with you? Oh, I did. I'm packing for New York. I have I to go. I saw everything what? that was going on in here. I have a people reverser. Yeah, and what'd you see? I saw everything. <laughs> we did a background check on you. OK. <laughs> A DUI. Yeah, right. When you were 22. Uh, no, that's definitely not me, because I don't drink. What else? Tax evasion. <laughs> you're the worst detective ever. It says your mother and father adopted you. You were so boring. There was nothing to find on you. Are you serious? Nothing? Yeah, nothing. OK. OK, well, the I last figured, bit of information. It was really weird. On you. There's a, this is how There's you're nothing. mainly described. This is this Jonathan Chevin has chronic irritable bowel syndrome. I think I do, actually. <laughs> That's 
good detective work. I gotta go to the bathroom right now. Trust me, I, I, I feel, can't even keep up either. Like, I just feel bad saying no to doing things because we really only have each other in it. And then I'm yeah. like, I want you out here doing stuff by yourself. That's not fun. It's just hard for me to find the balance in my life. I, I do feel like I do the balance of a lot of by myself. I do come to a lot of places, though. But I don't see you. <laughs> because you are occupied. That's not true. In Miami, was I supposed to just sit in my room and wait until you guys are ready we to needed, go? I was doing my makeup. You didn't tell me that. No, too. Jordan, literally, we left. I texted you like, yo, I was going to go in your room and do my makeup with you and get ready. And we were going to leave. We, it was just miscommunication. I literally called you and you were like, I, I just left, remember? No. I was like, I just left because I waited two hours. I knocked on the door and, and you're just not, like, no. And I was like, okay. It was not, it was not two hours. You just have to look it up from my side too. I'm looking at it from your side. Stop. Never force you to do anything. I've always been the stand for you. That's like, always do what you want, you know? Don't make me seem like I'm forcing you to do This is not what this conversation is about. I just, I don't want you to feel like I'm, I'm saying that you're dragging me to these places and, cause it's all me. Even being around you, I feel pressured, not even from you, just like, I mean, I'm we like, should okay. all strive to be great. And I'm like, I need to, to just be the best me I can be. And you help me become the best me I can be. What do you think it would be like? After talking to Dr. Boris, I wanted to make an appointment with a local allergist. Dr. How are Nelly, you? A pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hope we can help you. So I can really pinpoint what I'm allergic to. Is there anything that you notice that'll make them worse? For example, if you're in a very dusty environment? Not that I know of. It just seems like in general, when I'm at home more. What about exposure to animals? Oh. If you're near cats or dogs, does it affect the symptoms? I just got a cat. I've had her about three weeks. Really? And does the cat come into the bedroom? Mm-hmm. On the bed? Mm-hmm. She likes to sleep in bed with me, under the sheets. This whole time I was thinking it was Miami that was getting me sick, but now that I think about it, I got mercy from Kanye when I first got to Miami. There are tons of things that we can test for, but certainly we should check for cat allergen and the most common allergens. And we'll put the tests on the back. Okay. And in 15 minutes, we'll have some answers. Okay. Can you check if she's allergic to basketball players, I football can do players? In um, any particular position I that we should be testing for? <laughs> no, the one that can't get the ball in. <laughs> that position, you have that position? Okay, so we're ready to go, okay? Oh, if you need a break in between, let me know. It looks like 55 needles here. Oh, my God. What do you mean, oh, my God? They prick you with the allergen, and whatever welts up, that's what you're allergic to. Here we go. Ow. Oh, what happened? Yay. Ow. Oh, wow. Ew. Ow. We're done. We're done. That's We're it. We're done? Great. Yeah. How does Excellent. It feel? So can you see little marks everywhere? Yeah. Take a pic. I'll show you. Hold on. Ew. Looks like yeah. a butt with the balls on it. Ew. Yeah. Forgot to wipe your butt right here. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse! <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, there is an emergency. I found an ass in her back. <laughs> Shared values. You've been such a loyal friend to me that I can't even thank you enough. And for your man, I've known you also for years. And for you to express your love in a way that makes me so proud to know you. Both of you are such an example of love. I think it's the best gift you can give. So happy birthday. Happy you birthday! to be married. What? This is just a commitment ceremony. Exactly.
know that. Does he know that? I don't know. Do we need to get this annulled after? <laughs> There's no brain home. We haven't had sushi since we would stop before the Clipper games. True, true. I went to the batting cages yesterday. Before he kept going, hit it harder, hit it harder. And I was like, I'm hitting the ball. You guys aren't like really athletic, or at least you haven't been in a very long time. First of all, I'm incredibly athletic, so f you. Chloe, you specialize in wearing heels. That's not a sport. So I have to, for Kardashian collection, because mm -hmm. Kord and Kim, have babies and that's like everyone's excuse for not doing anything. Mommy lay. So they can't, like literally I have to go to six or seven different countries in like a two week span. Like where? London, Dubai, Australia. One of my biggest concerns though about going is with all this drama, it freaks me out. And then I don't know what to say to people. Like I just get- You don't have to. I've never been socially uncomfortable and now yeah. I am. You're not going anywhere to discuss your personal business. You're there people to People still ask you. Great. It's just very uncomfortable. And I wanted to know, would you want to come with me? Um, it's really fast. It's not like we have like leisurely time. It's all work. I'm your girl. Yay. Thank you. I'm not exactly gonna go to Dubai for a vacation next summer. I didn't have it on the bucket list. I just also hope though, like when I'm gone, like what if something goes wrong? Which you have to accept the things that you cannot control. And this is one of the things you can't control, whether you're near or far. Before you know it, you'll be right back. That's my carry-on. That's one of my bags with everything. My purse. Okay. I get arrested in Dubai. Who's gonna bail me out? You're not gonna get arrested in Dubai. Good. And if you do, I'll be getting arrested with you. Why are you having these weird thoughts? So everyone just keeps telling me, like, all these rules. And yesterday, you know, I just feel like this every, like, everyone was so great at the appearance, but everyone was like, you know, I just, I wish you all the best. Or like, they would just be like, oh, I hope if the rumors are true or blah, 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 or whatever. And a lot of people were like, I'm going through something really similar. Like, it was really sweet and everything, but mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. So I'm like, I would just give hugs. It's also like really personal and so awkward. Yeah, it is And it's awkward. just so weird that like random people in other countries know my like really personal business. I just still have such an, like I get such anxiety. Well, honey, they care about you. Whew. Well, Brie. I have not time. slept, no, in, since my plane ride to here, a total of seven hours, I've counted. I, I feel know. like I'm yelling, and I don't know why I'm turning into somebody else that I, I know. I get it. It's, it's well, weird. Well, you will this. This is good to go. Hello. You this will is... be fine. Continue to tell yourself that. You're fine now, and you'll be fine when you get to Dubai. Find your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's her name? Chris. 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 I think my mom thinks we're a little crazy. So beautiful. What would you like to ask? Love. Mm -hmm. It's actually very good. There is one person that is very interested. You can see he's already talking with you. Yes, he has good intentions. He's inside uh, looking at you. Mm -hmm. Desire with the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan wants to go. He says there is no love. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take time. No, well, they are there, but right now they are busy doing other things. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, are you currently working? issue with this length, do you think? Why don't you try it? I'd won't at all. No. So what's going on? Well, my ex, 
He wants to sit down and have a conversation. But, like, I really still feel like I'm just not ready for this. Since we've broken up, I really haven't spoken to him much. I have kind of ignored a lot of his attempts to talk. Well, he did reach out to you. I don't even think you can consider that reaching out to someone. You want to go to Morocco? You don't break up and then to ask someone to go on vacation. Like, it just doesn't work that way. Because I don't think he thinks you guys broke up. He wants to see each other and to go on vacation together, but I feel like I have to distance myself until it's clear that we can't have the same relationship that we did, and then hopefully we can get our friendship back. I think he'll be awkward, and I'm trying to, I would like to avoid that. I think he'll be awkward. For sure. Most people are. What's going on with you? What do you mean? Mm, do you not remember the craziness? Of course, I can't forget it. She was drinking. I was, but it wasn't, it made me be very, very honest about where I feel like I've been in my relationship with him. I just want to focus on my friendship with him. You don't want to be his friend. I, I think do want to no, be his friend, because I was friends with him for so long. I swear, the minute the panties come down, I lose friends. And it's very I'm hard to do that what somebody's friend. should happen. Not necessarily. <laughs> yeah, I think when you start to someone you could be cordial with them afterwards but you don't you can't That's be really friends. not your friend i know you feel like we're ganging up on you but i just i think there's something to be said about this pattern when you want different results but you go for the same type of person you end up getting the exact same thing so i think so, and sometimes it because you're defensive when it comes to us you probably need a third party to mm -hmm. maybe say the exact same thing, but you'll hear it differently. Maybe you need I think to go talk to somebody. Is probably, I mean, we've been saying that for a while now. What do I go into a therapist and sit down and say, like, hey, by the way, I keep Trust running me. my head into the same wall when it comes to men. No, when you're sitting there, I thought the same thing. Like when I went to couples counseling with Lamar, like I had no idea, and then all of a sudden she's like, so like, why are you guys here? And I'm like, da -da 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 -da. and it's like your hour's done, you're like, no, 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 but that, I was, was done. that was only chapter one. Like, yeah. we need right. chapter yeah. 90. Like, yeah. trust me, they don't talk a lot. Just go. No, I know. Don't wear makeup and you'll be fine. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. This crazy one <laughs> wants a tattoo. Chloe Money's here. Hey, hey. They did my hello tattoo here. Yep. <laughs> Mine and Lamar's. Okay, Dee, you don't even like tattoos. You're scared. It's so like, oh. So why are you doing this? Well, here's the thing. I'm done having children, and I feel like I got you, I got Bob, now I want my kids. But at least you're not doing what my mom did and putting a tramp stamp with your kids' names. Hey, hey, no judgment. Yes, I can see the difference. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not going to hurt that bad. All right, you ready? It's free. Does that hurt? No. <laughs> I can just keep hitting you. <laughs> How do you think her hand feels? It's okay. You should make all those faces. It's not very attractive. I don't care about being attractive right now. Are you serious? The hurts. Yeah. Oh, look, it's done. Thank you. See, look how happy you are. Let me wash it off for you. Oh, is that gonna hurt? No, this is this thing you like. Jesus. Are you really? My legs are literally sweating. That is really, really cute. That was like two minutes. My that legs was a good one, yeah. sweating. Maybe like a solid five minutes all together once I do the other one. And Celine's even shorter. It's really, I really like it. I can't, I, I'm, thank you. It's good, it's gonna be there God. forever. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. There's a lot going on, but we have big, big plans for our Courtney, store. Come over here. Okay. Sorry. Gotta hold this girl down. Courtney, Chloe, and I opened up Dash 10 years ago. Fiat, yeah! Big booty hoes. Our first store was in Calabasas. We were so hands-on. I was the cashier. Chloe would do a lot of the merchandising. Courtney would do the buying. Yeah. Sorry, can okay. someone 
So help have, me. We expanded our stores first to Miami. <laughs> and then New York. Each opening gets bigger and bigger. It's taken a long time, almost a decade, to really get our stores to what they are now. And we have no plans of really slowing down. We really just want to have like a kick-ass Dash Dolls team. That's where Malika and Khadija will come in. We decided that now that we're only getting busier and busier, the best people to oversee the LA Dash store are my two best friends, Malika and Khadija. I mean, we trust them with every fiber of our beings, and they really put a fire under our Dash Dolls asses. Malika. It is hi. She used to work at Dash in Calabasas. Khadija and I have been best friends with Chloe for like 16 years now. I worked at Dash when it first started many, many years ago. And now Khadija and I manage the Dash dolls at the store. And we also take care of the high-end clientele that comes in for styling. We're now offering personal shopping and styling, which they're going to be covering. I am the working mommy. <laughs> Celine, are you ready to go night-night? I have three amazing kids, and now I'm responsible for wrangling all these girls at Dash. So there is definitely a lot of pressure. But we definitely want whoever works for us to like bring something to the table. We don't want anyone just to coast. The Dash dolls definitely are a representation of our brand. Being a Dash doll also opens up a lot of other opportunities. I think it's just really good exposure. That's it. <laughs> I want them to work hard, be presentable, be friendly and have a love for fashion. Durrani, like she is the epitome of the dash doll looks wise. The eyelashes and it's she's, the, all yeah. the makeup. I mean, it's like you are. just, yeah. lo I, I love it. Love she's like a little dash I love doll. Her too. She's the doll. Hey babe. Hi, what are you doing? Reorganizing our basement. He's moving everything around. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, it's just so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. Last night, Jonathan and Simon both came over for dinner. And, I mean, you know, uh -huh. like, the both of them have been, like, talking such about each other behind each other's backs. I feel like their issues are, like, deeper than that. Like, they've been friends for so long that they need to, like, you know, get over this. True. I think it was just my approach because I didn't tell them. But if I would have told Jonathan, he would have dodged it and he never would have shown up. You know, your intentions are really good. It's coming from a good place. I think give it another go around and see what happens. All right. I love you. Call me later. Have love fun you. organizing. I'm ready to jump off that boat. All right, I love you. Okay. <laughs> love you, bye. Um, yeah? Did you get all of our new Chroma stuff? Yeah, I just had a party with it. You did? I literally just did the, the lip stuff. Ooh, this is so good. This brown bronzy eyeliner. Have you talked to Jonathan? No, he literally won't return my calls. And I'm so like, he's mad at you he's now? He's mad at me, yeah. Jonathan does probably feel like He's closer to you than you are to Simon. And we are. I'm more like annoyed. Like I'm, I'm, you're mad at me? For what? Like for- Well, there's so much history there that I feel like you don't know the details like of everything. Maybe they were embarrassed. Yeah. I don't know, Jonathan just probably was confused. Like he didn't know what was going on. Jonathan and Simon aren't even talking and it's all my fault. I mean, you can't save the world. I've literally called him so many times. That's what you get when you get involved. Stop meddling and enjoy your day off from your very needy friends. Mm. Thank God I have no friends, except ones with kids and they don't have time for this I really am on a mission in my mind and if I start going to restaurants here and there with Jonathan, he's like the biggest foodie of all time. He's gonna be like, you just have to try this dessert. I decided I will never eat Taco Bell again. That does not make me horny. <laughs> I don't care about any other fast food. But? I don't even need pizza. But? Hot dog on a stick. I've never had a hot dog. I don't even know what that is. What? I just saw it. You've uh, never no. had a hot dog no, on swear. a stick? We should Jonathan. go out. We'll get a hot dog on a no, stick. Mom. You and I. Do you know, where to, do you know yeah. where to? you know where to go? Yes, I do. Mom, have to go I to feel, dinner I love too. you. No, I love Let's you. Go to dinner but with Jonathan what? probably has like other friends. He wants to go out. You're in there like playing dress up with North. So what's wrong with me hanging out with him for a minute? 
He wants Fine. to hang out with me. Fine. Don't you want to hang out with yeah, me? Yeah, we'll Fine. we'll go get a. No, I want to take you. No, Kim, you're we way too busy. I mean, we're gonna go eat in our matching Sorry. outfits. Kim is getting pretty comfortable with this mommy thing and loves staying at home, but she cannot stay in this house forever. Bye, Kim. Clomo, where's my little piece of sunshine in your yellow bathing suit? You look yellow on you. It's your color for sure. So I was just talking to Kim and she was telling me that you weren't feeling like this trip was going the way that you would have wanted it to go and we're not spending enough time, all of us, together. It's just interesting how I don't see you guys a lot, and I take the time to come here thinking, like, oh, great, this is, like, time where I get to be with my sisters and, you know, my nieces and nephews and do all these things, and this house is absolutely extraordinary, but, like, going to the beach and, like, just doing... I, when will I ever go to a Costa Rican beach? I don't know. Kylie and Tiger are locked away in their room. You and Corey are doing whatever you and Corey do. You don't like to do any activities. I love to do activities. Kim Believe has her things me. where she's whatever. Just because I was afraid of the whitewater rafting. Like, cool. what's the point of making it not fun for so us to want to hang out so with you no if you're always happy? We want to hang out with you. You're the Everyone funniest, most fun girl we know. It's not that. Just don't You've be snappy. You've ruined my mood already today. So you guys could all get away from me. Okay, well, what can we do I don't to know. have fun? I don't know. You're so annoying. But we could have her. There's a reset button. I'm over all you people now. I do. Family members that I can't. This is what I can't handle. You're just so like you're so annoying. It's like shut the up. up. You're the negative one, just saying how awful we are and how this. You're like a big bully. I the bullies am a big all of bully. us. You people. I'm a you bully. Big bully. Us people. I want us to spend time together. How am I at fault for that? And how is that a bad thing? I still don't understand that. But at some point, you have to say it and just not try anymore. Hi, Dakota. Hey, how are you? Our new lights look so good. Right? Yeah, they look really good. Good. Hi. Hi. I'm Chris. I'm Dakota. We met. Hi. In yes. New York. Yes. Yes. Looks good with the Hi. second Hi. table and the jewelry case. Yeah, it looks way better. I looks think more full. This is for you. It's from Melissa. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. That's nice. I like the bag. Very neat. <laughs> what is that? Uh, Gray hair, hair loss, fiber. <laughs> Life again. It's the crow's free. Like, what kind of mug is this? Dirty 30. That's supposed to be a good thing, though, not all these negative things, right? Gray hair. It says hair gray loss. hair, hair loss. That's like not a nice gift. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm it's grateful. It's supposed to be a joke. Not what you expected. No, oh, it me just like happy 30 mug, not like gray haired debt. I thought you get debt when you're like debt. 20. Love handles hemorrhoid. <laughs> Who would sell a mug like this? <gasps> Sorry. It's so rude. I like the bag more than the mug. The, <laughs> exactly. I'm going to use the bag. The mug was so offensive. I'm never said You're 30. I don't care about that. I, it was just like, it's had gray hair, hemorrhoids, memory That's loss. That's what's going to happen. It's a joke. People That's are teasing you. What a gift. Oh my god, Chloe. What is this photo? Um, you know, sometimes you got to like spice things up a bit. For Lamar? For Lamar. I did a photo shoot for Lamar recently. I just feel like you could still be really sexy and be tasteful, and it's kind of liberating. I'm feeling a little good about myself. I'm feeling a little okay, okay, okay. good about my man. Uh, Chloe, do you really think you should be having this conversation with a 17-year-old? I'm all for spicing up a relationship, but... You are? Yeah. I'm just saying that, in the, especially in this family, Photos leaking, this and that. Bruce. Look at the problems it's caused. Bruce and I did a video. What kind of video? Exercise video, honey. No. Bruce and I made a sex tape. Well, it wasn't quite a sex tape. It was but a it was... sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do in it? Are we talking multiple positions? But we yeah, erased but it immediately. How do you guys know you erased it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it? Obviously, your mom. It was mine. The weather here is so crazy. Oh, 
Oh, be careful. It was a little squirrel. I'm not gonna swerve all the way out of the road and then possibly get into oncoming traffic and have a real accident. They say never swerve when you see an animal. I don't think you should swerve. Oh, come on. Every time that we're at uh, your parents' house, they warn me about in case there's a deer. So your mom always told me that. And so I know not to swerve, but you, there's a thing called slowing down if it's safe. Oh my God. In Trust me, Del, there would have been no way to get out of that. I'm not going to cry about it. I kept you safe. You should be saying thank you. No. But you think I wanted to kill that little squirrel? Probably. Some of oh. your sick mind. Oh. Oh my god, people are going so they crazy. Me. They hate people me. People hate Kim from her what? comment on the show. <laughs> Thanks for well, posting. What's the problem? I, we got into a fight. I said, she said you're the no, least I was, exciting no, she to didn't look say at. it to me. She said it No, to Chloe, you. yeah, she was walking. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I go, no, it was to Chloe and my mom. I go, she's, what I meant is you're the most boring. People think that is like, I said, Kill your mom. No, but people are like, I've been abused by my family oh, no. for years, and I know that no, it's, it's very getting bad. Hurtful. I knew they would do this to me. I, I knew it would happen. Yeah, but I but feel like anything you say, I... you gotta be careful. No, it was. Yeah. It's. It let's was not mean. justify it. Why? But that's your sister. Yeah, but you say bad things about her all too. All right, all right. Let's but not. But I'm saying, and you call somebody... her a point for every time I talk to you. Yeah, right. Somebody just wrote. Um, this thing like you should thank Kim for your career. I do all the time. And then I was, but I, I was swear. gonna write back and I say if it wasn't like, for you. my personality and being funny, then our show wouldn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> for sure, without you, this whole thing would be dead. <laughs> I've been dying, House Chloe. What happened in Cleveland? Oh. Honestly, I mean, I'm glad we went. We got to see the baby. Yeah, of course. And you got to support Chloe. Yeah. But it was, the more I think about it, the more pointless it, it was. Well, he was very remorseful and was very feeling obviously sick over everything that happened. But I told him, I think you're more remorseful because it's affecting your job, you know? Or how he's looked upon. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I think he's more embarrassed that he looks stupid. Because he's like, people, like the how public people are, are looking at and booing him. And I think it's more of that than anything. And I told him that. We went back to have this like family talk with Tristan. No cameras were there, and we really wanted it to be a private talk. But we all expressed exactly how we felt. When something like this does happen, everybody has a story. Yeah. yeah. It's the dirty secret, so now the secret's up. And that's what it is. He's yeah. got, he got caught. Yeah. Yeah, that's but how many it's more yeah. of these things are we supposed to prepare ourselves for? She sat there and was like, tell me, how many more people has it been? How many more this and this? Like, he's going to tell you? I think the combo was going OK at the beginning. And then it got heated. And I don't know. It just kind of took a left turn. Then he got mad because my mom was like, you can make your decision. If you want to be, if you want to yeah. live this life of dating these Instagram whores and doing your thing, yeah. live that life. Mom's like, if this doesn't work out with you guys, we're always going to rise up. Overall, I think it was definitely necessary for us to all just like let out how we all felt. And since he is the father of Chloe's baby, I definitely wanted to take the time to hear what he had to say. You know, Chloe has been so invested, like moved to Cleveland and nested in this house and right. made it a home. And I mean, it's beautiful because of, you can see it's the whole place is yeah. Chloe. Got, you know, oh, Chloe totally. written all over. Totally. She said something really interesting. She said, I didn't have a baby just to have a baby and move on. She said, I had a baby to create a beautiful family. And that's what broke my yeah. heart. Mm -hmm. you know, that Which she, is true. You know, she really never saw it coming either. So you wrote Chloe? I just wrote her saying hi. She's like, please, I don't want you guys to fight. I'm like, I unfollowed him, and I'm just letting you know. Mm-hmm. Does he follow us? I don't know. 
It's gonna be a rule. I'm not following any boyfriend or anything because it's so awkward when I have to unfollow. You have to practically be married in at this point. That's my rule. <laughs> <gasps> he blocked me. What a f***ing loser. Literally, what a f***ing loser. <laughs> I'm calling her right now. Hello? Wait, he blocked me on Instagram. Like, how old are you? He's 27. Only 27-year-olds even know how to block. I don't even know how to block someone. Oh, it's on. Oh, no, please don't do the it's on. What does that mean? It just means when I see him, I'm going yeah. to, like, spit on him. Whatever, I'll save it all for him. I won't stress you out. I'll no, please tell me, because I just have to know how long I have to keep you guys separated. We can coexist. I'll be nice. No, I don't know if you guys can coexist. It's so crazy. Yeah, I don't I think we can, actually. Hold on. I gotta go. Bye. Your boyfriend's a f***ing loser. <laughs> My room's nice. My room's huge. I love my room. My room's almost this big. Oh my god! Except yeah, it for is. it just doesn't have the glam the room. second room. Um, so I gotta be real with you guys. You look like f***ing clowns. Oh, I'm not f***ing kidding. This is not like a tourist thing where it's like it's Halloween. Dress up like a f***ing Japanese geisha, unless yeah. we're at a geisha house. I thought my hair looked good last night, and I thought my outfit was like fun for Japan. Your outfit would have been like great if you didn't have in blue eyeshadow. But I, I actually liked that we were all in sync, like your blue shoes, my blue shadow, and Chloe's blue eye tan earrings. No, but she was green and yellow. I didn't know the yellow was happening. Where's I yellow? Thought, there was yellow on it my eyes. It was, yellow, it was like half yellow eye. and half green. Oh, I didn't see it. It was like an evil eye. <laughs> You think I looked like a clown? Well, you look like you just won the Tour de France and you're cycling around town. <laughs> I mean, look how cute I am. Even my cartoon character looks great and has the best style. So I'm just saying, you have to like tell the glam people, especially we're in Japan, like everyone just thinks, oh my God, we're in Japan. Everyone go full Japan. And like probably the people that live here make fun of people like that. And I literally am like cropping myself out of like turquoise yellow, da da da. Like, I just think yeah. you gotta like chill. But also, I don't think my things were that crazy. But, like, you can be cooler. I'm not telling you guys who to be or what to wear or anything, but I'm telling you who to be and what to wear. <laughs> it could be time for like a fashion overhaul so that you stay like young and relevant. Are you guys going to church later, I heard? Yeah, do you wanna come? So you guys are going to get drunk and then go to church. Yeah. Jesus turned water into wine. Yes, We're gonna Lord. go say prayers right after the sin. What are you drinking? Oh, oh vodka, I won't be going to church this evening. Oh. I'm gonna make court talk to some guy. Have you guys seen her try to like talk to someone? Mm -hmm. She has no game at all and it's amazing because I, you just would think like. She'd be so popping, right? Totally, because she's so like dope, but Courtney is the biggest pussy. Are you talking about me? <laughs> talking about you? Just Love you so much. Gorgeous you are. <laughs> are. Guys, are you ready to get your jerseys on? Oh my God. Oh my, these hats. Cute. We are officially the pinball pussies. Oh yeah. My God. Woo! 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 Yeah. Woo! Is Chloe excited? Oh yeah, guys. I'm ready. Woo! I know that you're on a whole different wavelength. Uh -oh. We're probably similar on how bad uh -oh. our mouths are with the cursing. Right. It gets to a point where I'm like talking to someone and it's like every other word is oh, and I'm like, I can't even express myself. You know who curses a lot is your mom. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> bitches curse. No, but I'm saying even in front of the kids, you're like, I mean, can you <laughs> believe this? <laughs> so I just... thought my name was <laughs> <laughs> Right, I thought my name was Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Mother <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know, I'm a drop weirded out that Courtney claimed she could sail. Not claimed, was one million percent convinced right. she could literally kill us. We could have all drowned. I almost did. And I think I got stung by a jellyfish. If we were out in the open seas, oh, we yeah. could have gone downhill very quick. Scott, I wouldn't be like Rose. I would come back for you. girl. We need more chicks like you out here.
I just think she should have been honest from the get-go and not kept claiming that she was a sailorman. So here's my thing. I feel like Courtney did us dirty. She swung that sail into my face and made me fall off the boat. Now the real question is, how do I get back at Buford? Some kind of joke, prank, you know, I don't know, maybe just she walks out deal. like, oh, what a beautiful day, drinking a cup of coffee. Cool. And then we just drop a big bucket of Well, now you're worms talking my language. Or a big bucket of nair, a big bucket of nair. That is just ruthless. You know, I probably don't need to throw nair on her and her whole head of hair falls out. She'd probably be a little oh angry. Oh my God, her hair would fall out. That's what I'm saying. Maybe a little nair. <laughs> There you are, cozy as could be. Cozy this lighting as is perfect can be. for you. You're literally glowing from every angle. <laughs> this is like permanent lighting in real life. Yeah. I think you should like live in this room. You're yeah. literally like, you have beauty light on you from. from uh, what's up? Nothing. Wait. So how was? I'm, what did you think? I haven't slept in days because of really? the doctor. Really? Yeah. But I think he's got a really bright light in there that makes you look like you you're like thinning hair, which I'm not thinning hair. So he's like, over here, it's like- You are. It's not thinning hair. This is I normal. see it. No, you don't, you see this. This is normal hair, but this is not thinning. He in the knows. Do you remember it being any different? No. I mean, we all like, it, that was like seven years ago. It could have been really different. It's exactly the same. I think you're in. I think you're in denial. I'm not in denial. I think everyone's hair goes into a circle here. No, it's, it's like, John on the top. There's like legit. I'll take a picture. Come here. No, no, no. We've done the pictures. Let me just take it from this angle We've then. Done, just flip over then. I will not. Yeah. I think I want to get like one more consultation from someone else just to see what they say going in blank with no cameras. Don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> you. Here we are. Let's go. Think how much fun it would be just to have you around the corner all the time. That'd be fun. Right? I'd be so tired of me in no time. Hey, Tomer. This is pretty cool. This is the master bedroom, so you've got a nice closet and then a big walk-in closet. Oh, look closet. at the closet. You can walk in. You see my closets at home. Did you see the kitchen? Uh-huh. Does it bother you that it's got that kind of a stove? I don't cook. <laughs> I have cereal for dinner. You and Courtney, that's just the whole point. You would have us right here, so if you needed something or you needed a meal, we can take care of you. There's nothing we can do about it if we're all three hours I away. Well, that's what this exercise is oh, all look, about. Oh, there's a bar, too. Oh, my God, now you can drink. I can Fabulous. drink. <laughs> I have to think about it. Well, I like the fact that it's two bedrooms because when Marcy comes up or any of my girlfriends, that's right. Or boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Two bedrooms? Wait, do you really have a boyfriend? Well, I wouldn't tell you if I had a boyfriend. You put it on tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Mom. <laughs> Whatever they call it. I literally can't do one thing fun. You think that's fun? You're doing something fun. There's something inside you that's fun. I have so much fun. We party all day long. Oh, I thought you had a bag of food in your hands. I was so excited. <laughs> no, it's just my pink helmet. We went to it's another language. See an adoption lawyer. And when you get a child, they change the parents' birth names on their birth certificate. Why? Uh, because they're your child oh, you now. Know why? Yeah, you, That's you definitely funny. know why. <laughs> so how crazy. Just because you showed me a birth certificate doesn't mean that you have to be my, uh, like, blood parents. Would, are we going to keep test? revisiting this stupid subject over and over? I was the one who told you, what, Chloe, now two years ago to get a DNA test? I don't want to. Two I believe years you. Two ago. Why don't you just get a DNA test and call it a day? Why don't you just hutch your face? Anybody want to go for a little spin? Do I look like a, a bug? It's a little buggish, but it's cute. How do I look, Chloe? Do Great. She loved it.
You look like Miley Cyrus with that hair. Not a bad thing. Well, you are Miley Cyrus uh, today. Okay. What's going on? I feel like I don't even know you. My hair? My hair's always short. Well, unless I put extensions in. So what's been going on? I saw you went to Mexico. Where in Mexico did you go? I went to Cabo. Huh. Cabo is like, and you just yes. were so comfortable roaming around town. I never saw one paparazzi. There wasn't one person They're near all us. Well, yeah, I had no idea if there was paparazzi. You fully had like a whole new crew. A whole new crew. Who is this crew? Like, I don't get it. Just fun. So I see pictures of Chloe with some NBA player, and even though I know not to believe everything on the internet, Chloe and an NBA player do go hand in hand. So, I mean, it's my sister. Of course I want to know who she's hooking up with. What is going on? You never reveal information. Like, it's wild that I have to see pictures like of you online, and you don't say one thing. Is this like Malika? Like, is Malika why was there? Khadija there? Like, we're on Bobby? a vacation. Courtney told me in the car that everybody should leave their phones on silent for life. Technology doesn't tell you when you're supposed to check your phone. You check it when you have a moment and when you want to check it. But then you'll never know if someone calling. Mine I is don't. custom ringer for Kendall, Kylie, and Lamar, and now it's custom for Kim, too. Do I get on there? No, you're not having a baby and you're not phoning me. Don't you guys ever just want to, like, get in people's heads and, like, know what's going on? Yeah. Like, I feel like with Shorty was, like, the best time. With Shorty? Getting him, helping him, like that. Like, I learned so much about Shorty. Like, you really don't know. Yeah. I just want to get in people's heads more. Would you really want to know what other people are thinking at all times, though? I just want to experience other people's walks of life and just ask them questions. I feel like we live in some bubble and we don't get to, like, experience everyone's, like, life journeys. I studied psychology in college and it was fascinating. What an amazing thing. You went to college? You would love it for four years. No. You did go for four years. years. Yes, I did. You graduated? Two years at Santa Monica, no, and two years at Pierce. <laughs> Over four years, no. Kendall, enough. Enough, no more, stop. Please, stop. Kendall, Do I make you Randy? Kendall, stomp it over there. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you enough. It's enough. Please. What did you say? Oh. 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 Let me just... Okay, you need to calm down, sir. Oh, crrr. Oh, crrr. We're just getting started. We're about to play some games. It's about to get like raunchy. Apple, apple, this is a perfect like game for you. <laughs> Heaven, drunk. Why am I oh. sticky? Oh my god, I have the best one. You guys are toast. Oh, I have the best one. I have the best one. Okay. Why am I sticky? Why am I sticky? A flashlight. Why am I sticky? Your weird brother. <laughs> Why am I That's Your weird still brother being for perfect timing. timing. Why am I sticky? Justin Bieber. <laughs> I put that one. <laughs> Courtney, why am I sticky? Because Todd just spit on my face. That's why I'm sticky. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, go on. So far, this trip has been one of the best. Like, Kendall and Kylie are finally getting to experience Vale, a place that means so much to me and my sisters. Court and Tyga have made up. We are playing such fun games, just spending really great quality time. What's the next Happy Meal toy? Puberty? <laughs> but I can't stop thinking about my brother. He's the one piece of this puzzle that's missing, and I really wish he was here because he would love this trip.